If you've never heard of Hulu, you've definitely been living under a rock. Hulu is a streaming service known for its great original content such as Handmaid's Tale, Casual, and Little Fires Everywhere. Hulu also has a unique feature of releasing new episodes the following day after it's aired on live television, such as This Is Us and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And the best part, it's affordable. Keep in mind, we're talking about Hulu, the on-demand streaming service, not Hulu Live, which is the live TV streaming service. If you want to know more about Hulu Live, click up here. Otherwise, I'm going to go over Hulu's plans, the original new and old content you can stream with Hulu, and other nice perks you get with this on-demand streaming service. So let's get into the details to find out which plan is best for you. And before we do, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to stay updated on all things streaming. And if you're a veteran streamer, hit those comments below to help others who might be new. All right, plans and pricing. So Hulu has two plans, basic, which has limited ads and premium, which has zero ads. The basic plan is just six bucks per month. Not bad, right? But what does limited ads mean? When you watch an episode of Parks and Recreation, you might only see one 15 second ad. Sometimes there won't even be one ad. When you watch a movie, the experience will feel similar to watching cable TV. You could see up to eight ad breaks that last as little as 15 seconds or as long as 90 seconds. And when you watch a one hour Hulu original like Little Fires Everywhere, you'll likely see five of those ad breaks. If you're used to watching live TV with commercials, this might not be a bother. And yeah, you'll be saving some cash, but I know most of you will want an uninterrupted watching experience. So if you're a serious binge watcher or simply just don't have patience for the interruption of ads, you'll want to upgrade to that no ad plan for $12 per month. And lastly, the best part about Hulu's plans, you have the option to bundle with ESPN Plus and Disney Plus. So why not add more sports and Disney movies to your life? Yeah, good luck getting off your couch. If you decide to go the Hulu limited ads route, you can get all three streaming services for $13. And if you want Hulu without ads, the trifecta will be $19 per month. So either way, it's just $7 more than if you were to get Hulu by itself. And $7 is actually the monthly price of Disney Plus alone. So why not tack on ESPN Plus as well? Now for Hulu's content. Originals, new, and classics. Let's start with the original content Hulu offers that you can't find anywhere else. You might have heard of Little Fires Everywhere with Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington, or maybe Castle Rock, which is inspired by Stephen King's books. And other popular originals include Harlot, Rami, and Marvel's Runaways. Hulu releases quality original content quite often. The best part about Hulu, in my opinion, is how quickly they air recent episodes from network and cable TV. So for example, if you're all caught up on This Is Us and want to watch the new episode the day after it airs on Monday night, you're going to want Hulu. It'll be ready for you to watch at 9 a.m. Eastern Time the following Tuesday morning. This is the same for The Bachelor, Saturday Night Live, The Voice, and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. This next day feature is perfect for those who want to cut the cord and don't want to pay for a cable bill anymore. You won't have to give up on some of your favorite shows. As for other on-demand content, enjoy older content like Hitch, Zombieland, I Love Lucy, The Golden Girls, and Kill Bill. The only downside to Hulu is the library isn't nearly as big as Netflix. To compare, Netflix has about 6,000 movies and TV shows while Hulu has just over 4,000. But it comes with a price because Hulu is a few dollars less than Netflix. So hey, just jump on that Netflix Hulu bandwagon like the rest of us. But like all on-demand streaming services, Hulu doesn't have sports. You'll have to get a live TV streaming service for that. Hulu Live is actually one of the best live TV streaming services for sports with 16 sports channels like ESPN, FS1, CBS Sports Network, and the SEC Network. But of course, you're probably just interested in Hulu, the on-demand streaming service. So it's worth mentioning that Hulu actually has a sports genre. So you can enjoy movies such as Warrior and TV shows like WWE Monday Night Raw without cable TV. And if you go for the ESPN Plus Disney Plus bundle, ESPN Plus will give you live events and news on over 20 different sports. And parents, or those who have nieces and nephews, will also love Hulu. When you need to distract your little ones while you're working or taking a phone call, just turn on Hulu. They'll have movies like Horton Hears a Who and Madagascar 2, educational series like Sesame Street and Doc McStuffins, and classic cartoons such as Rugrats and the Powerpuff Girls. Hulu also lets you create a kid's profile so your children will only be able to watch content that's appropriate for kids up to age 12. 
This comes in handy when you mindlessly hand your cell phone to your little one while you're busy making dinner. And you and your kids can watch Hulu on most devices such as iPhones, Android smartphones, tablets, Apple TVs, Fire TV, Roku, Xbox One, you name it. If you're not already convinced that you should get Hulu, let me recap everything Hulu has to offer. You get lots of Hulu original content and you get lots of older on-demand content, both of which get updated quite often. You'll have something new to watch every single month. And you get all of this for about six to $12, or you can choose to bundle with ESPN Plus and Disney Plus by just adding $7 extra to your monthly bill. You'd be crazy not to. And lastly, everyone in the family, including the kids, will have something to watch whether you're waiting at the DMV, riding on the train to work, or simply having a few kickback hours at home. Enjoy all the Hulu content, Disney, Marvel, Pixar, and Star Wars content with Disney Plus, and live events and sports news with ESPN Plus. I know I have. If I helped you in any way, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video with us.